Hey everyone, it's Brian from Hanging House Plants, and I'm going to show you how I converted my china cabinet into this little greenhouse. So this entire idea started because my wife and I wanted to get rid of this china cabinet in our dining room. So we replaced it with this white credenza and it just made that room feel a lot more open. And then this company, Mars Hydro, had reached out to me to promote their grow lights on TikTok and I was more than obliged because I had this great idea. So uh, this comes with a bunch of hardware and this hardware can actually sit on top of the grow life if you're like mounting it to a ceiling. But since I was putting it in here, I wanted to hide it on top of the china cabinet. So what I did is I took some L brackets and I drilled directly into the roof of the china cabinet and then through the aluminum of the grow light and I drilled a hole in the top of the china cabinet so that way I can feed the wire through. Um, the most important thing about this is the strength of the light because this is meant for like large grow facilities and I didn't want to blast my plants with too much light. So using this dimmer, I would take out my light meter and kind of take measurements or light readings throughout the entire greenhouse. So my best growth in my house happens in my North Bay window. And in that window, the light gets as strong as a thousand foot candles throughout the day. So that was kind of my basis point for the strength of my plants. You know, I knew they were used to getting a thousand foot candles. And obviously the measurement's gonna vary throughout this little greenhouse because there's different layers and there's plants blocking other ones. But you can see the most it ever gets up to is 1200 in the corner. That's why I have some little seedlings going there that I'll show you. And the lowest it gets is around 50, but there's glass reflecting. So it's getting 50 foot candles for from a few different uh, angles. So it's really getting a lot of light no matter where you are in the greenhouse. So the big thing now is to figure out what to do about moisture. So I've talked to some people and they said that I should use a polyurethane. I haven't applied it yet, but there's basically like a paint on polyurethane that I was going to apply to the entire cabinet just for when I missed it down or have a humidifier going. You know, the biggest thing so far is just monitoring growth. I wanna make sure that none of the leaves are starting to yellow or that, you know, I'm starting to see weird growth patterns or anything happening. But so far, everything's been growing really well. Here's this Billy. Here's this Florida Ghost Mint. This Pink Princess Philodendron has new growth. Uh, here's the Philodendron Pulmani. has got a new uh, shoot growing up. So, so far, so good. The plants seem to be absolutely loving it. And here's probably the most exciting thing. I had Anthurium lucin seeds that I'm growing, and they have shot up in about a week. So, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. You can reach me on Instagram, TikTok, or here on YouTube. Thanks for uh, tuning in.